Right, that's a small gearbox motor that links um, to this mantle. And um, here we go. <laughs> Now complete dismantle while we can rewind a full stator for you. If you need anything to rewind, we are there for you to be able to rewind in some some of the motors. The bearing joiner is one. We can lay it to the right size. We can work on the mechanical parts that make sure everything is in the right sizes and the gearbox can be also dismantled take all the gear out change all the bearing inside some have a ball bearing some have a needle bearing some have a chemical bearing so everything is doable for most new training and um, yes and after that we need to make sure as the oil that is going inside has to be the manufacturer giving oil sizes and the grade. And um, if it's if you're using for the food company, it's going to food grade oil inside. And if you use for the other side of this, then we put a normal standard oil that the manufacturer gives for us to put inside. The common fault on this is the shaft, the oil cell sits on it is always one that's a common fault on scw motors so if it's one this is when the oil can penetrate to the motor and if it's penetrated so that needs to be repaired the oil seal diameter of the shaft needs to be repaired that's a normal common fault on this and the same thing on this the same wearing side where the oil cell is the oil cell diameter is always one so it's either we, we get a new one make from ourselves if it's emergency or we can also get it cheaper from scw the hollow shaft and um, when oil hinders to the winding sometimes Sometimes it might pass the search test. We put it on the search test on the machine that give us exactly what we need to know about every job. And when we have that, if the winding is all right, we steam it, we put it in the oven to dry. And if it's the one that they don't pass the search test, we need to rewind it. And um, yeah, that's a common fault on the SCW gearbox motors.